Okay, you two being the wolf pack, the first wind post is in the northeast, and that is the one that I have angel radio and elemental radio on, and the color red. See, anyway, that's the first one in there. Now, I think I should mention just let about four ways uh, that are acceptable of putting up your your steps. One is you can actually go northeast, south east, southwest, northwest, like in the actual directions. That's one way. Obviously, it's acceptable. Uh, the other way is by which one you work the most with to the one you work the least with is acceptable. Uh, in my case, I'm putting in, in the rating of my color, my most dominant color to my least dominant color. Okay, and also with that, I'm putting, like, red is my dominant color, and obviously I work with the elementals a lot. So, red and elementals go together, see? So then the next one's going to be yellow, which is my dominant color, which is grandfather and the, the ancestors and the guides, right? And then so on. So that's the other way, and that's the way I choose to do it. Um, but no, you can do it any any way you like, uh, either by direction, uh, by the, which ones you work with both with, by your colors, or um, you can put them in a row uh, in the proper directions. Like northeast would be would be first one, and then south would be next, and then southeast, and then southwest. So you could do it that way in a row. Or you could actually put them in the proper direction where they're facing. So, I hope that explains that. I think I said that right. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye. Alright guys, there's two of them. Alright, I'll be back. There's two. There's three. One more goes. Oh, look, there's a space. I wonder what that's for. Okay. Two and one is three. Okay, I got all four staffs in. And for the staffs, I'm putting bigger rocks... So the vibration of the earth and mother earth and the rocks and, uh, and all the astral sounds uh, gives them a little more strength. That big rock, you'll see what that's for in a bit. And uh, yeah, so anyway, whew, I need a break. There are the four winds, everybody, yay. Uh, almost done. As you can see, I got they're all surrounded by Mother Earth and the rocks and everything. Man, that was a lot of work. Wore myself out. Anyway, there they are. Now we have to connect them to the grove. So that's gravel time, gravel time, gravel time. And then, so what we want to do is we want to connect the winds to the grove. This to the grove, which I'm not telling you what it is yet. This will be connected to the grove. And then that will all be connected. And then we'll be done from the north all the way around. Except for this spot. Between the white post, color post, and the north. What do you think is going to go in here? Take your guesses. I know what's going in there, obviously. But take your guesses. What do you think is, what do you think is missing that's not here that I always work with? See if you can guess what it is. All right. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so from the stone, the southeast to the southwest are connected to the grove. So now we just gotta connect this side to the north. Alright. Okay. Four winds are now connected to the grove. Yes, yes, yes. And now you'll see what that's all about. So this section is done. We've got the northeast, northwest, southeast. Southwest and me. <laughs> that represents mankind. So, uh, wards off evil for mankind. And it makes it attached to the grove. And it's a protection thing. So, any anybody that's uh, part of the community, uh, it protects you. So, say some, something sends something negative through the four winds to you, the four winds will grab it and throw it back at them. And so it won't reach you. So that's what that's what that's all about. So it's for protection for the community. So it's a community protection stone. And it represents mankind. Alright. Uh, 
Okay. Here's a bird's eye view. Okay, we'll talk to you later.